Hi, let's talk about holds in the payables module. For starters, let's look at a vendor. And note that you can put a vendor on hold. And to do this, it's very simple. I'll pull up uh, Bergeron Communication. And there's a hold button next to the vendor ID. And simply clicking on this and clicking save will put the vendor on hold. Now what a hold does for a vendor is it enables you to key in invoices, but you can't pay the vendor anything until the hold is removed. Now, you can also put invoices, individual invoices on hold. And let's pull one up now. We'll pull up Associated Insurance. And here are a list of all the open or unpaid invoices. And we could mark one of those invoices and put it on hold. Now, putting an invoice on hold means you can't pay that invoice, but you could pay other invoices. So you could still continue to key in transactions. You just can't pay them. And that's an important thing to know because then you can continue getting your work done. Those invoices will be reflected in your financial statements and you have a way to monitor them. So let's talk about how to monitor them now. I'm going to switch to the home section and this is a great use of SmartList. If we open up the purchasing object and the vendor object, there's a default for vendors on hold and you could see the vendor Bergeron that we put on hold. Now, I said this is a great way to uh, monitor it, and a good thing to do with this is, let's save this as a favorite and a reminder. And we'll say if the number of records is greater than zero, which means if we even have one vendor on hold, let's save it as a favorite. Now for the individual invoices, if we go to Payables Transactions, again, there is a default object already set up, vendors on hold, and you can see the invoice we set uh, put on hold for associated. And again, this is something that can be saved as a favorite and a reminder. And then we'll look at how this works. Now, this time on reminder, I'm going to set it as a queue. So we'll say it's greater than zero and display it as a queue. And let's close that window out. Now, this is our reminder section. I'm going to just switch to a different view for a second and that'll refresh my screen. And now I can see I have two vendors on hold and I can see the payables documents that are on hold. So if I click there, it'll automatically open up the smart list object and show me the individual invoices that are on hold. Or I can look at vendors on hold. And monitoring which ones are on hold is very important, so you make sure you pay them when you need to pay them. And you don't pay them when you don't want to. Hope this helps. Thanks.